What's wrong with the burner? You don't believe it, do you? We've been told in the start of this video that this is this is it for the season. There's no changes. No, no, I don't. I, I'm not saying there's not no changes, any changes, and I'll be handing out hundred dollar bills. No, none of that. Oh, like, I'm still waiting. <laughs> this is uh, this is where we're starting the season. Right. Okay. These are the four I, teams. I mean, it makes sense for the amount of three would you hit off the mm. tee. I think this is yeah. this is the right call until that one shot off the deck. All right, guys, welcome back to the Madhouse. We're in here today to finalize the golf bag for the season. This is your third what's in the bag, 2024. Listen, this is the official one. Some of them are unofficial, some of them are- Timestamp that, folks. Some of them are correct at the time of release. This is- This is it, this is the tournament setup. I think so. You, you're my caddy, you've got an input in this. Take a couple of clubs out. On bones. <laughs> yep, that's good. Okay. Let's uh, let's refresh everybody's memories. The suspense. Oh, I know. Irons, T-150s, staying the same. Good. Nothing to change. Love yep. them. T-200, four and five iron, love them, yep. right? Six through to nine iron, T-150s. The new wedges are in, I think as of, relax. I think as of the last time, the SN Thames had not arrived, but they are here. A little 45 degree little wedge. Custom grinds. So we've ended up going 45, 49, 54, 60. 59. Okay, nice. So we've made a couple of little adjustments along the way. And In the 59, what, what's the reason? Just uh, gapping? Like, will you hit it full? I, I, we'll hit it, no, 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 generally not. No, this, this will go to about 75 yards, um, which is about three quarters. I won't push it beyond that. Any more than that, and I start kind of leaning the the leading edge in there. Right, you can okay. even see where that's rusting yep. on the raw. Like, I'm starting to get some use out of the, the back of the club and, and that type of thing. But the M grind has been good. 60 M08 down at 59.07. Nice. Now, so really, uh, really comfortable with those. 54, 54.10. Mm -hmm. S grind. Uh, you played 54.12 D last year. You like that? I like the S, S grind. Yeah. Again, heel relief. I nice. do like it. I do like it. Okay. What do we got? We start with the big dog. The big dog. That's not a surprise. The shaft. No, the shaft. We knew not a that. That's... I don't. I. I mean, if people are really watching, I don't think that. I don't think this is a surprise. The whole thing. Yeah. Six X. Back mm -hmm. to six X. First yep. time in a while I've played six X. I've been in five X for most of the time. And a five S at one point. Not very long. Um, <laughs> QI10 LS, mm -hmm. Mikey. Nine degree. Tour sleeve. Tour head. Tour head. Nine degree turn to eight. When it was at 8.5, sorry, 7.5. 7 7.5, yeah. It, it was maybe a bit on the low side. The advantage of going to the 1.5 degree cog Loft sleeve gave me the ability to have a little bit more loft. I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Face sits more square rather than more open. Cool. Really, really like that. Um, but yeah, I, I just, time will tell. We'll get in the golf course, yeah. you know, and we're going to see. I really like the numbers from, uh, from this guy. Uh, I love how it sets up, super square. I really like that triple diamond. There's no doubt about it. If, if I put it in the bay, there are, there's nothing to say why I shouldn't play that triple Correct. diamond. It's not yeah. a performance thing. But again, those, those little things that just kind of gnaw away at you. It was a little too tall in the face mm -hmm. and a little too open. Yeah, sat way open. That was uh, the two things for me when it came to that. So, number one. Like you said, not, not a big surprise. No. Club number two. Might be more of a surprise. This was a surprise. This was a go over Friday evening for a cup of tea and this was a surprise. Oh boy. Why? Oh, is Cody, that a surprise? Cody's face is a surprise as well. <laughs> We're many driver, folks. Many driver. I would think what I was gonna say is, and you asked why are we going mini driver? Mm. When we talked on Friday night, you're like, how many three woods do you see me hit off the tee? Oh, yeah. oh sorry, off the deck. Yeah. Um, when we play, regardless of where we play, and I'll, I would say, Probably zero. It's about, so when I look back at it, it's about a four to one ratio. Right. For every time I hit it off the fairway, I hit it four times off the tee. Yeah. And I mean, going into a mini driver, you're going to get a little bit more out of it. That's the 11.5 head. Mm. 
I mean, it makes so much more sense for where you play 90% of your golf and the yeah. types of courses you play and the yardages you play. I mean, if you're using three wood off the tee, let's use three wood that goes just a bit further, but just a straight. And I think there's, you know, I've, I've hit it off the ground, I've hit it off the tee, and we, we'll do a little bit of that, just to explain the numbers and, and what kind of changes for me and why it sort of makes sense. But I, I think you need to be comfortable hitting it off the ground, mm -hmm. first and foremost, to even entertain it as, as a, a, that type of versatile club, yeah. which yeah. I totally am. We tested this last week on the channel. It was when we're trying to hit those cuts into 18 at the Majulus. No issues. Yeah, yeah, great golf course. Great golf course if you haven't heard it. But uh, so the, the, the burner spec-wise, Mikey, 11.5 head, again, tour sleeve, playing 10.5. Same shaft, graphite design uh, VF6X again. Mm -hmm. Length, 43.75. Nice. Um, so it, Which is mini driver length. Yes, yeah, so it's exactly mini driver mini length. Driver length. It, it, honestly, it feels like cheating, standing, hitting it on a tee. I played a, a round of sim golf. I can't wait to get this out in the real course. Weather's on its way to well, uh, it's here. getting there. But I played a round of sim golf yesterday, and I couldn't believe how, how easy it was to hit this thing straight. So... I need that in the bag. Um, I need more forgiveness when I slightly miss a three wood. This gives me. Uh, yeah, yeah. This gives me that. I think this is another surprise. Yeah. This. Yeah. I would say this is a surprise. Little little curveball. So right now we're playing eight degree driver effectively nine turn to eight eleven five turn to ten five. Here we are in five wood QI ten tour. Turn to 16.5. Mm. This is basically now the main club for second shots from the fairway yeah. into a par five. And can still launch it quite <clears> high. Can launch it plenty high enough for the 16.5 uh, loft. Obviously, you've got the weight bridge coming in and out that gives you the ability to change spin plus minus four, 500 RPM. So mm -hmm. because we have the loft, I've put the bridge all the way in. So I'm expecting this to be about a... 16, 15 launch, 16 launch, 3,200 club. Okay, cool. That's what I'm expecting yeah, yeah. off of this. And the length is playing a little bit shorter? It's playing 42. Okay. So it, it gives me, again, that kind of option um, if I want to st stay on top of it a little bit and flight it. I almost put hybrid back in the bag, and, mm. and I tested a hybrid yeah. last week. I really was yeah, close. Yeah, you're any good, yeah. But I think this this is uh, is closer. Okay. Putter-wise... I wasn't going to do this, but we're going to we're going to do it. I've got a blue version of of my champion's choice. I think we're going to put a, a diamana in here. Mm. We're going to take this one out. We're going to put a diamana in. Basically, the same shaft, same grip, yeah. matted or grip. I was going to say grip's got to go. Oh yeah, grip has to go. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to take the stainless steel shaft out of the the blue head. Mm -hmm. but I like the blue. What head. do you have? Twenty gram weights in there? Twenty five? Yeah, and, and probably want to get that up a wee bit. Okay. Probably want to get that up to maybe try. 30s, maybe 35s, but... Maybe the green paint come out? Mm, I, as much as I don't like green paint, I think I'll leave all that alone. All right. I think so. But, you know, I, I do love the blue. I love the finish. I love the feel of the terillium. Keeps me kind of where I was before. Yeah. But I think that's going to make it in nice. as, a, as the starter. Nice. Love the it. Gamer. All right. Hit some let's, drivers. Uh, well, let's start at five wood, and I think let's work our way up to the big dog. Okay, Fries. Um, so on the golf course, I ask every customer this question, you know, what's a comfortable carry number? Comfortable? I mean, 230, comfortable. Okay. No, no issues, just kind yeah, of your no, stock no, shot. Like, that allows for a bit of a miss if I miss it. So, yeah, I'll, I should carry this more than 230, but okay. probably closer to 240, 245. Yeah, and that's, that's when it's at its best, for sure. Like you said, one hop on and it's 250, no problem. And with the 42-inch fairy wood, just easier to stand on top of, trap it a little bit more? Yes, no, no doubt about we it. We both played kind of shorter fairy woods now for the better part of a, a year. I mean, it feels so much better. Anyone watching the channel is equally as sick as me at watching me hit up on fairy woods. <laughs> We're all sick of it. I'm sick of it. You guys are sick of it. You don't care. I'm sick of it. You don't care. Um, but no, I think we, we all uh, see that as a, a vulnerability of, of me with a fairwood. This helps that for sure.
Pretty good. Probably there in its slightly lower, lower kind of spin window there, Mikey. Mm -hmm. 3,000. So there it starts to become like a little three wood. Yeah. So that's what I like about the, I call it a four wood. 60, at 16.5. Yeah. Because it will give us that launch, 13.7, caught 1,400, spinning at 3,000. It's just, I mean, if I can fly this thing 250, I'm over the moon. Yeah, so if, even if you needed something off the tee that only went, you know, 255, 260-ish, you can get it out of this. This thing can, yeah. I honestly think if, if ball back in the stance a little bit with this guy, and you kind of need to just kind of hit something that's pretty hot... Like that's got some heat to it. That's, for sure. that's a different animal if you turn it into that and then you can chase almost 270 out of yeah, it. Yeah, I like that. So that's the thing with this. And it's not getting it through compromised launch and spin. That's mm -hmm. just ball back in the stands. I get a little bit more ball speed. The speed goes up to 157 and I can just hit that little draw. And if it. you need to chop anything out of some, you know, rough or anything like that, you have total control to totally, do it. Totally, totally. With that. Uh, with the shorter length, the ability to now get that angle of attack down. Yeah, yeah. It's a dream. What are you Love it. I'm not in anything. We're rolling. I know. it's. What's wrong with the burner? You don't believe it, do you? I don't. I don't know. Okay. We've been told in the start of this video that this is, this is it for the season. There's no changes. No, no. I don't, I, I'm not saying there's not no changes, any changes, and I'll... Be handing out hundred dollar bills. No, none of that. Oh, like, I'm still waiting. <laughs> this is uh, this is where we're starting the season. Right. Okay. We're going to give this a chance. These are the fourteen. I, I mean, it makes sense for the amount of three wood you hit off the tee. I think this is yeah. This is the right call. Better, but it's a case of until that one shot off the deck. Well, let's see. I don't feel like I have an issue off the deck with it. Like if I want to add spin. I mean, that there is 109 club and it's comfortable, right? And if I want to kick the spin up and take something off of it, mm -hmm. it can do that. Yeah. Um, can it be quite easily the other way? I think it can as well. Okay, so this mini's at 11.5 and then it's bumped to what, 10 and a half? 10 and a half. Could you not play a, a rocket fairy wood 13 degree and bump it down to like 11? I know it's still not enough. Have one. Yeah. I do have a QI-10 rocket. Okay. In case, because I wasn't sure if this would be in the bag, but it just comes down to off the tee, really. The, the amount of times I need to hit this thing, I just hit one there, 279. Like, it out, like if we're playing really windy conditions, like if we were at Stream yeah, Song really or want, Cab yeah. or something, like 90 it's feet in the air. Good. And like it gets the thing too, behind, standing behind the ball off the fairway or off a tee with that, yeah. it's a bigger footprint, right? A little and it bit feels it when you miss hit it, like it's a whole different sensation. Yeah, okay. Versus a three, would you feel the deflection, toe, heel? But like, again, I feel comfortable off the ground hitting whichever shot really, like if I have to hit it, which I'm not really going to need to, 260, 270 off the ground. I still feel like I can do that with this. Yeah, okay, that's good. I just, I know that I stand three wood, I just, I just don't have that in the locker. Right, okay. But Let's it's off the tee. Tee a couple up then. And it's a short, short tee, like par three tee almost. Yeah, yeah, I tee it, I tee it low. Because okay. I still want it coming out driver numbers. Mm -hmm. Just it's, it's my kind of, Cody said it off camera, it's my second serve yeah. driver. You still want to be down on this one? I, I would like to be really close to neutral. Okay. That is what I would like. Just that's I guess it's one of the reasons of using the mini drivers to try and get yourself closer to mm -hmm. zero on the angle attack. So that is kind of how I envision the mini off the tee. Yeah, fairway finder, you know, it's Call it 300 yards. Yeah. 163 ball. 160 ball, it's 10 launch, 2,500. Perfect for those windy games. I mean, it's not even kissing 100 feet in the air. No. So it's definitely like a, like a window less, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. 
It's all good. Okay, I can see why it's in the bag. It's a different option off the tee, because if I have a day where the, the, the swing doesn't feel great off the tee, yeah, I'm probably going to go to something like this. Yeah, yeah. And just try to... And that little bit more confidence behind the ball with Definitely. such a big head. Okay. Big dog. The nicest sitting driver I've seen in a long time. Super square, super clean. You said uh, a second ago, you know, that mini driver puts you in territory of like, you know, it's encroaching on, you know, normal driver. Mm -hmm. I still think having a normal driver in the bag for for the consistency and kind of protection this driver's given you from what we saw at testing and, mm -hmm. you know, obviously I've seen some numbers off camera and stuff like that. I mean, it, it looks a lot safer than drivers you've had in the past for sure. So I still think you having one above the mini driver is is necessary. Definitely. I agree. I agree. I agree. And it's where I'm starting to think about the, the 6X versus 5X. Do I still do I want to just but this to be a bomber? Because mm -hmm. that's fairly straight. And yeah. maybe go back to 5X. And I've been there in the past with a 7-2 where I had it play longer. And it, the thing was a monster. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was ball speed wise, it was it was in a different league, but I'm definitely not there with this this thing yet. Part of I think thinking about driver, Mikey, was driver as a fade club, mini driver as a more of a draw club. Right, okay. And that feels like it comes quite naturally with these two. Like I feel like that is a little bit my shape. Yeah. A little spinny. With driver, but you could see protected. with mini. Turns a bit, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, we're looking for that next gear with the the, the driver. Do you ever want to see driver go down into like 2,000 to 22? I'm okay with it now. Okay, okay. That, without a doubt, if I've got a 2,500 spin club in the bag, that's 160 ball, then yeah, we, you can now. Okay, okay. Just a little on the high side, it's good. A little floaty? A little floaty. But I mean, it floats to 310. <clears throat> is that for me is just a eight. little exposed. That sounded really good. High on the face a bit? Higher in the face. But that's nice there, a little turned over and what was your spin there? 2000, yeah. So good. A little flatter. Little, just better launch and spin. Yeah, get the strike in the right spot. Launch is good. Spins, I mean, it's lower, but it's mm -hmm. not putting you in trouble. No. 306 carry. That's what, it, that's what, it, that's what we need it to do. So. It's a good setup. That's, that's a different setup at the top end of the bag. Mm-hmm. Designed for a little bit more firepower, a little bit more T options, where I struggle. I think having lots of options at 240 to 260, how many times do I actually play golf in, in that kind of area anyway, so. And you have a spot open in the bag technically, right? Driver. No, no, so driver, mini driver, forward. Right, oh yeah. We've I've got seen. seven irons. There's another iron, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So I think, the irons are going a little bit further, so now I'm pretty comfortable hitting that four iron about 225, 230. Okay. And then obviously five wood, four wood, 245, 250. Yeah, it's nice. Lines up. Nice progression. Cool. Okay, guys, the bag is the bag is set for right now. We're going to start the season with it. We're not. Uh, When's your first game? Probably the weekend. Good. Probably the weekend. So we'll try and get out in the course with it, see what it looks like, see how it feels. I definitely need to spend a bit more time. I've been hitting a lot of irons recently, a lot of kind of still swing stuff. So I need to get really more dialed in with it mm -hmm. than in the woods. Yeah. Um, so now I've kind of got settled on, on the combo, what I want it to be. I, I need to sort of really fall in love with them now. So putter build this week and yeah. you're all set. Yeah, putter, putter build, get that dialed and then we're, we're literally there. Golf ball today was, I was hitting some TP5 X, I, I really like that golf ball. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm stuck in a bit of a window, obviously, you know, big Titleist, you know, users. I, I spin um, Pro V1X a bit too much right yeah. now. 
I agree. I definitely do. And that's what I've got a supply of. So you might be inheriting those. Um, but standard Pro V1s. No standard Pro V1s, maybe it. That may be trying to bring that kind of window yeah. spin down a little bit. But right now, I'm really enjoying TP5X. Yeah. Yeah, no, you played uh, one of the rounds when we were away with TP5X. I did. Yeah. It uh, performed well. I know. Actually, both. I just played both. Both of them down there with that because yeah. I was spinning it, as I said, a little in the high side. So. Um, cool, good setup. Good setup, happy with the setup. Took us a little while, but we're there now. When are you going to start? I don't know. I don't know if there's any, uh, there's some things to change. Irons are pretty happy. Irons don't, don't need to change. Um, I've, you know, put the five iron back in, hybrid mm -hmm. out, five wood back in, seven wood out. Okay, we're doing a video on this. I didn't know this has went on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, we're doing a video on it. Good, good. Next week. Next week, talk us through it. Talk about through the plans. We'll hit some shots. Your swing is in sort of uh, transition. You're working some stuff. Yeah. How do you call it? Transition, uh, transition or uh, transfusion? Uh, <laughs> which one? I need a couple of transfusions, <laughs> that's for sure. So which one? Um, so, yeah, let's look at your golf bag next week. Okay, yeah. We'll see what's what and uh, we'll start putting things together. You did put the Tensi 1K white in your driver when we were away. Mm -hmm. Quite nice. There were some decent drives, yeah. Yeah, there was definitely couple, some good couple drives. decent drives. Okay. You'll see a couple of these in drives in our next video at Cabot Citrus Farms. Mikey gives me about 30 yards down the first. Don't just, Didn't enjoy that one little bit. I did. Just don't watch the wedge shots. It's okay. It's all right. We're, we're rusty. We're getting old. Good stuff. Guys, hope your uh, golf bags are just about set for the season. We're, we're there. The Masters is come and gone. Golf season is officially... That's the ribbon has been yeah, cut. Yeah. The golf season is underway for us, hopefully for you guys too. Stay tuned next week for Mikey's What's in the Bag. Um, I'll try and stay consistent with mine. <laughs> How about that? All right, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.